Good morning, good morning. Marmalade on the trail again. PCT, baby. This is my day 12 back, or if you're keeping track at home, 97 overall, so we're inching closer to 100. And uh, what can I say? Had a good night's sleep last night. I think I'm, there's something wrong with me because I'm the only one that gets up every day at five and is out by six to 15. People are just starting to wrestle around, but I'm the first one out of camp. Had to be over 30 tents spread around. But today, compared to the other, the previous two days, an easier pass, I think. Uh, famous last words, right? But um, five and a half miles. And relative to the previous two days, uh, hopefully a semi easier pass. It's uh, five and a half miles, about 1,900 feet up. And then long, long down. As in about, I don't actually know, I didn't look at it exactly, but let's see, do the math. Maybe 12 miles down. So I was telling you that I want to try to get partway up each pass so that when in the morning when I wake up, I don't have to do the whole pass, which has been killing me. So I'm gonna maybe attempt to do a 19.7 a mile day, but if I'm not feeling it, I might not. So we'll see. And the reason for that is I want to get about three miles up the next pass because if you don't, if I camp near the bottom, that's a good 11 or 12 mile approach to Muir Pass. And it's just long uphill, so if I could eat into it today, that'd be great. Get a little bit done today, but we'll see. Uh, I'm really fast downhill and it seems like, oh yeah, you could just go downhill and fly. It's not that way. The trail is so rough and so rocky and, and uh, it's kind of sketchy that you have to take your time or you blow an ankle out. So that's what I'm doing. Start about 6.15, we'll see how it goes today. Hopefully I can get some good miles in there where the trail's smooth, but we'll see. But, uh, all right, let's get this day started. See ya. Well, it looks like kind of like another avalanche site. It's hard to tell, but strangely, all these fresh trees are all snapped. How weird. Somewhere up there, maybe some happened last winter or the winter before. Yeah, this is strange.
right, so here's the trail. It's about 5.30 p.m. And I had quite the day. I'm gonna go over the numbers in a minute once I look at it. Here's my uh, tent. God looks at it, said there's a couple sweet spots and they were right. Here's my spot there. Can have some food over here. And there's no campfires out here, but man, this is a sweet fire pit. It's actually sunk in the ground. And these rocks. <clears throat> Hey guys, Marmalade here, what is up? So, you see my voice is kind of jacked up. Um, I didn't really tell you guys, but I'm only running at about 80, 85%. <clears throat> so I'm still doing pretty well. Um, I breathe pretty heavy when I hike. So my throat gets dry right in the night. And if you hear my uh, openings in the morning, my voice sounds right. And then it gets right back to the same. So it doesn't hurt anything. It's just, that's the way it is. It started, uh, I took a second zero and Independence because it wasn't feeling so great. And I probably could take a third, but I had to get on the trail. So <clears throat> what can I say, but a stellar day today. I did 17.1 super hard miles. And let me tell you, I started five and a half miles back of Mathers Pass. I had to do, uh, I misspoke this morning and I'm never going to do that again on these passes. But <clears throat> it was five and a half miles and 1900 feet, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it was very hard and we capped off over 12,000 feet near the top. Then I came down 4,000 feet from 12,000 to 8,000 to the bottom over 10 miles down the Golden, golden Stairway. Um, man, the trail was really, really rough. And so I made it all the way down there and now I'm about a mile back up because I have a long approach tomorrow to Muir Hut and Muir Pass, which I've been waiting for forever. The good thing is um, I'm going to do about 3,800 feet, but over 10 miles. The last one was like seven. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm hoping there's not too many crazy steep parts. I heard there's some uh, stairs, kind of like the golden stairs that are difficult. But uh, I'm just going to get up early like I always do. And the plan is to go the 10.2 miles um, up to Muir Pass. It's probably... Depending on how leg weary I am, I'm probably going to be pretty leg weary after today and the previous three days. I've done a 17, 14, and now a 17.1 in three days. <clears throat> so I'm making good progress, but I, uh, unless the weather's bad or something, it would be kind of cool to sleep in the, uh, in the hut. But I plan on going on the other side to Evolution Lake, somewhere around there. That'll make it a 15 to 16 or 17 mile day again. Uh, it's just mostly first, like I said, 10 miles, 10.2 is uphill. So... Oh, and man, I am in a beautiful place. I'll, I'll show you some of the pictures right now. But it's called Grouse Meadow. And I got one of the three spots there are, and the other two aren't so great anyway, so... Uh, it's kind of weird. It's uh, I'm used to maybe the PCT where you're in a bubble, and if, and uh, if you hike pretty late like today, I hiked from 6:15 to 5. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today. Wow, what stellar views! Didn't you? Don't you agree? And it, the, I tried to show you a different landscape. It changed constantly. And when you're on Mathers Pass up there, it's like the moon. And now I'm in the forest, so uh, by a beautiful meadow. So maybe I'll see some uh, deer in the morning, maybe a bear or something. I don't know, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed today. And tomorrow's a big day in your hut. All right, see you down the trail.